Two years apart, they both play point guard, and Amaya says that she really took me under her own wing. I used to shy away from going to the ball. She put it in my hands, and that instilled confidence in me. Absolutely. She said, Paige told me, you can do this. We need for you to play that. UConn coming off a 80-48 to win over a ranked team, number 20, Maryland. Minnesota knows what they're in for in this matchup. Man-to-man -man defense, it looks like here the start for Minnesota. And Mara Braun getting the assignment on Paige Beckers. They faced off many times in high school. Hopkins High School and Wyzetta Braun never beat the Hopkins Royals when she was in high school. And they played together for two seasons, won a state title together in 2019. Paige Beckers gets the first look, and that goes out of bounds. Braun's got to go to work, flies to the rim, can't get the touch. And a travel is called on the rebound. And they're shifting and bumping off. First year head coach Dawn Plitzewite went to a Sweet 16 to South Dakota. She's gone to the NCAA tournament four straight seasons. And Coach Oriama said good things happen wherever she goes. She has disciplined teams. Yes, and it's been on the defensive end. And you see all the teams that she has coached, they've been in the top three offensively and defensively. There's the first bucket of the game. Mallory Heyer stroking it from three. Extends her game, is practicing with the guards at shoot around today. Ten on the clock for Edwards. What a spin, what a finish. Yeah, you gotta bring early attention to her, maybe with a double team, because her footwork is immaculate when she gets the ball and the block down in there. Battle looks for higher. She gets the edge on the baseline and finishes in the reverse. And that's what you want to do against that kind of defense, that matchup zone. Get behind that last line of defense where the help can't get there to recover and contest. What a play by Paige Beckers and one. And Aaliyah Edwards got that pass downstairs to her right underneath the defense. And she puts her little jacket on. I <laughs> tell you that it's a little chilly here. And that's a tough spin cycle move inside by Edwards on the previous possession for UConn. And the paint is going to be an area that Minnesota cannot afford to give up too many buckets at. A strong finish for Paige Beckers, who when she arrived, had trouble benching an empty barbell, which is 45 pounds. She worked so hard in her rehab recovery to put on muscle. I thought that was just me that couldn't lift the bar as a freshman <laughs> because that thing was cricket. That left arm was low, Sloan. You keep the collars off so you can dump the weight yeah, off the case. Not, it was not a good deal. Because <laughs> Sophie Hart going to work, and she perfectly kisses it off flex. Nice body control inside, and that's what you want to do. Stay connected. Mule dumps it into Edwards, and she coughs it up. Braun finds a lane. No whistle there. Still being aggressive, and now Beckers will push. Up ahead to Arnold. Beautiful transition basketball. Rolski gets herself free, launches the three, and UConn can finally take back possession. There's got to be a way for Minnesota to try to get downhill. Those threes are not falling. You don't want to continue with those. And they're afraid to make a mistake, or they go all out and make the mistake anyway. you got to play full on. I mean, this is coloring outside of the line season. If you're a freshman, now let's get downhill and test the second and third levels instead of just the threes at this juncture. Ice Brady entering the game for the first time for Connecticut. Here is Kyer for three. Or you can make your threes. Like, okay. <laughs> you can get downhill or you can pull them. But that was a timely one because it was an extra pass. The defense rotated too slow to get up and get a hand in the shooting pocket. Tigers got seven of Minnesota's nine. Brady from the high post. She loves the mid-range. There's that jump. Quick pass outside, Graholski, and ripped down by Arnold, looking like a post. Keeping her eyes up, pushing the ball, shade, can't put it in at the buzzer. It is low scoring, but close.
close here at the bar. Tremendous success in her career. Second year at the Power Five level. Spent one year at West Virginia, but did take them to the tournament. But really, it's her connection to South Dakota and this entire region. She grew up on a farm in Wisconsin that made her really want to stay here in Minnesota. Edwards taking it to the hole. Yeah, and, and Plitzer White, she has been fantastic. Rahulski looking for her to drop some in. Still not happening for the Gophers from three. Coach Plitzer White just turned and walked the other way on that one. It's like we, we, we're getting good looks. We just can't find the bottom of the net just yet. UConn also hasn't made a three. They're just 0 for 2, though. Graholski clearly with the green lights. And she's got it. There it is. And that's what you want to see. Amnesia. If you missed that shot prior to, you don't want to shy away from getting the next one down. It's next play. Keep stacking plays. Graholski, a top 100 recruit, the first to sign with Clips away here in Minnesota. Minnesota also doing a great job on the defensive glass as well. Raholski tied up by Beckers. And that's what you want. You want to close down the gaps, especially right there at the elbows and at the nail. Allowing 92 points to NC State's really little fire under the seat. Absolutely. And they watched film prior to the Maryland game for almost two hours. Raholski is nearly doubling the Huskies in attempts. And 9-2 to two in offensive rebounds for those extra possessions. Offensive foul. Yeah. One of the most experienced members of this team. Sanders in trouble in the paint, floats it up in her first action in this game. Becker's looking for Edwards, and she finds the backboard for two. And this zone is spread out because of the way UConn plays offense and now there's individual coverage down inside and you've got to disallow a touch and stay loose on edwards and get to the high side of her and get some deflections sanders loses it beckers goes all the way for an easy two something this uconn offense yeah. needs absolutely the steal and score mentality is in full effect for uconn and that's something gino said he wanted uconn to carry over Cutting to the rim. And a whistle. Hard dash to the ball like Hire did. You can get a great touch. Second personal. Yeah, she can stick it from the outside. Another floor spacer, especially in the absence of AZ with that right knee injury that she suffered in practice prior to the Maryland game. It happened on Tuesday. She'll be getting an MRI soon once that swelling goes down. Beckers off one foot. Beautiful. Distant relatives, great, 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 second, third, once removed. They're all here in the building wearing Husky blue. And her high school teammate just missed that shot on the other side. Beckers lining it up from three. Minnesota again controlling the glass on the defensive end. That works. Slow to get back. Griffin coming in and taking it away. The touchdown pass and the score. They were just down 16-15, and now they've made a surge with their stop and score ability. Becker showing off her arm on that throw. Yeah. Higher, straight on from three. That bounces out. High ball screen here by Edwards. They love this two-man game. Beckers takes a tumble and travels. Right, yeah, and that's that's what it is. It's about community when it comes to high school hoops, and you love to hear that and see that support continuing on the collegiate level as well. Hard pressure from Mika Mule. She is a pest in the best possible way. Opens up broad for three. Penetrate. Get a great pass after you commit defense to the basketball on the dribble drive. Minnesota had its largest deficit of five, now one possession. Beckers rising, hitting. The trailer higher. Groholski. Beckers looking to take command in this second quarter. Putting up her shot. She's got 11 points, four for nine shooting. But I like how Paige set herself up for that last shot. Groholski. She has been solid. 
42% coming into this game from the floor for her. Right near her season average, too, uh, as Mule gets that. Nika Mule and Paige Beckers have been trying to read and react off of one another in that NC State game. Nika Mule didn't get a lot of touches, and Paige Beckers was very ball-dominant, and not in a negative way, but against Maryland, they tried to rearrange that. Beckers off one foot, and she'll be shooting two. The ball, right? Paige Beckers misses her first as well. Three assists. The largest lead has just been two, but they have kept it close with the number eight team in the country. A little double stagger action here offensively by Minnesota, trying to get something to the rim, but they're catching so far outside of the three-point line, and now they're under 10 again on the shot clock. Maya Battle trying to get free, the up and under, that is tough. And got that up and under, the counter move to the counter move, nicely executed. They want her to be more of an offensive threat to open up those passing lanes. And a foul called on that lob inside to Edwards. Degree of difficulty on a thousand, but she told us today after practice, hey, when I get into that logo area, that's when I make great decisions, whether I'm passing or scoring the ball. Edwards tied up in trouble. Cutting through is Arnold. Beautiful timing. But it will go back to Minnesota. It's that kind of fearlessness that has Minnesota within one possession here. Graholski, not there that time, all away, skying for that board, knew the time, but it does not fall. An excellently executed first half by Minnesota. Look at turnovers, I think another big reason why Minnesota's been able to keep this close. Right, and both teams, they've only scored five points off of their respected turnovers that they had for us, but... UConn needs to take good care of the basketball as well. You see them trying to get the spacing, but when you're missing an AZ Fudd who spaces the floor, it changes things. Nika Mule starts off with a miss. But we will see how both these teams respond. Mara Braun had a tough go in the first half shooting, but Hart in traffic tries to keep it alive. It will be a jump ball. Corral it and keep it. And they have the possession here. Raholski a couple threes in that first half. Double stagger off of that inbounds play for Braun. Five on the clock for Battle. The mid-range not there. Higher, a great rebounder in the Big Ten last season. Can't lasso it in. They're attacking that glass with some force. Out rebounding the Huskies offensively and defensively as well. Great look for Ducharme. That's what I like to say. Like when you're in the airport and you see somebody running, you pay attention to that person, right? To get to her and deflect it before you're out of position trying to contest. Coach Blitzaway talked to us about staying in balance defensively in your stance, especially for this team always cutting back door. Right, and you have to have your head on the swivel. She said that's what UConn does. They lull you to sleep, and then they dash back door on you, and that's why they got to the line on that last possession. Am I a you get afforded to play with a WNBA player day in and day out, and also work on your form with someone who has that kind of wisdom and experience as well. One of the great scorers, one of the great players in Big Ten history, Rachel Bantam on this staff, helping her through that process. Battle not there that time. See so the two man game here by UConn. Switch defensively, but then no help. UConn still shooting about 40%. Groholski finds her defender asleep, puts it up. Can't make her pay. The pull up by Mule looks good. A lot of different initiators for UConn. You get a steal or a bull. Battle against her former high school teammate Paige Beckers. Shot put up by Hart and left short. We see Amaya Battle didn't take that shot. I thought she had the momentum and the position advantage there. Hurt.
Northwestern for single game scoring. And you saw that game. Yes. The 60 points I'm, against Northwestern. I was on that one. Ariel Powers from Michigan State had 42 in that one. So my neck was certainly sore from turning <laughs> right to left like a tennis match. But she's a phenomenal talent. And she stayed a part of that Mamba family yes. throughout her career. Just wrapping up her eighth season with the Minnesota Lynx right here where she's from. Between college basketball and the WNBA. And then there's so many little girls in the building and little boys too who aspire to be pros. Arnold kicks it off. Ice Brady this time. The mid range has been working well for him. Here it is right here. They're trying to run it again. Use the screen and then they like to split off and try to isolate down inside. Mara Braun has been quiet in the second half, but she will launch from long range. And again, you have to have amnesia if you're a scorer. Right, not just a shooter. Everybody can shoot it, right? If you're a scorer, you can't think about the misses. You have to think of next play. It's the next shot that's going to go in. You can't drop your head and feel sorry for yourself. You have another opportunity coming soon. Newell, wide open. And that's an amazing stat. 11-0 run now by the Huskies. We said we felt the momentum picking up for them to take control of the game. And they're pulling away right here and yet another stop. That is three turnovers in the second half after having five in the first. Well, that's what you want to get. You want to get consecutive stops and scores. We said, when I was coaching, we ran a shell drill. You get four consecutive stops, four scores, but the scores have to be in the paint. So everybody's being challenged. Ice Brady. Teammates are cheering her on. And UConn continuing to pull away because of their ability to get the necessary stops. Steals and boards. Braun being guarded by the two-time Big East Defensive Player of the Year. She crashes. We lived ten minutes away from here. You're a native here. Family there. You see Bob Beckers, her little brother Drew. Staying engaged, watching as well. Sisters team pull away. Mule, the mid-range not there. Minnesota being outscored here in the third, 15 to four. With another offensive possession, there is Braun slipping it up. Mara Braun playing USA 3x3 last season as Edwards sticks with. So Minnesota's trying to get into spacing wise. It looks like a five out. Braun, a difficult shot, and then ripped down by Edwards. That's a tough shot. That's a tough shot, and they've been doing well when they're getting some screening action on and off the ball. K.K. Arnold, this year's preseason Big East Freshman of the Year. Coach Ori Emma says she's not shy. Someone who just is not worried. She will just make plays. And when players have high motors, you just put them, you just wind them up and set them on the floor and let them <laughs> go to work. And and that's what Gino Ariama and his staff, that's what they've been able to do out of the gates this season with Arnold. Minnesota hoping for a solid shot here. But things went off the rails in the third quarter. It was yeah. just a one possession ball game at the half. Battle has it stolen. Arnold looking up at the clock. Wow! That is not a freshman play. The freshman class has been phenomenal for the Huskies. You look at this group, we know that freshmen that come into this program, they are the most highly touted, highly touted recruits in the entire country. And they are playing above their group. Oh, flat out solid performances and no fear in these youngsters. They're coming out here to show what they've got. And that one by Arnold was a lot. She's got a lot. Okay. Gino Ariema recruited me back in the day and he said, hey, that's a mini you out there. And she does about two of the 10 things basketball players need to do. And I was like, well, I don't know if I like that anymore. But he said she, she can shoot the leather off the ball and she's fearless. And so I said, okay, see, there she is. Okay, mini me, I see it, I see it now. Minnesota looking to respond, Christy, from a quarter in which they were outscored 21 to six, down by just three at the half, but they're down to shooting 22%, and it has not drifted from that, but Braun, she can make those kinds of shots. Yeah, you can almost see the relief on her face after that shot went down for her because she has been off the mark in this game. Here at home, 
for the Gophers. The third bucket today as Edwards gets that downhill speed. Not much you can do at her size coming downhill. Mallory Heyer launches the three. And Aaliyah Edwards has really picked things up in this third quarter. Look at the big. She was out there near the half-court line as UConn continues to drain. Yeah. And Paige Beckers is on the bench just cheering her teammates on because they have been effectively impacting the game. Raholski. That's why Gino said that we're <laughs> <laughs> the mini Christie. Oh, see, if she, oh, okay. I was about to say, if she makes that one too. I don't know how Christie that was, though. No, no, that's, that's <laughs> all cue on that one. <laughs> Edwards into the passing lane and off to the races is Griffin charging down Braun, but it will be a block. I thought her left shoulder wasn't all the way turned to face. That kind of pre precision yes. to cut it off. Yeah, you got to get beyond the ball and then face. Samuels battling for it, but taken by Braun. Still plenty of time for Minnesota to get things going, but they've got to go with quick score opportunities here in the quarter court. I like that. That's a better look. Maybe toes to the three-point line instead of two feet behind the line. And maybe also getting to the free-throw line as well. You're we stopping that clock. Absolutely. She got to get to the rack to do that. Edwards, full steam ahead. You have to be right there on the basket line. If you were to take a marker and go from underneath the hoop and draw it to the nail, that's right there in the middle of the foul line, that's where you need to be for help side to be ready. And no one was there. Hart wants it against Edwards. And she drains it. Over the outstretched arms of Edwards, who is a staunch shot blocker. And Minnesota forgot about Nika. Into the hands of Braun. Can't land that three. Hart battling on the offensive glass. And she will have to not only be in it, but to prepare to be in it. And that's why her leadership qualities, that verbiage of leadership, carries a long way. And that's a UConn team still finding its footing this season as Paige can't get that three to fall. But if you're a work in progress and having wins like this, yeah. things are in good shape. Great box out by Edwards, but kept in by Groholski. She finds higher. KK Arnold's from the corner, misses everything. And there is Edwards once more. She's pushed. We're just talking about how the dynamics change with Dorka Juhas graduating and everything, but AZ Fudd. I mean, she came out of the gates at 18 points in one of their preseason games, and just the player you have to honor whether she has the ball or not. Tie a bow on a very strong second half. They shot well throughout. KK Arnold pushing off to watch her get back to it, get back on the floor because she's been so hungry. Caden Samuels with the rebound. And UConn can finish this off and improve to three and one this season. That one blemish after they started number two in the country to NC State. And now stringing together some wins against ranked Maryland. And then against this Minnesota team looking to prove to the Big Ten it is up and coming. Tough bucket inside by Sanders. That is the final 62 to 44 is the Yukon victory.